Okay everyone, um, it's mechanics and um, today's lesson is all about resistive projectile motion and there's a two parts in this. First one is a linear drag model and the second part is quadratic drag model. So I'm going to start with the linear drag model which is going to be, we're going to use the r equals minus kv and the quadratic will be r equals minus kv squared. So this is sort of a um, little um, introduction that what we're going to do. Um, this is a vertical component and that's the horizontal one. Okay, so I'll, I'll put it in a um, different ways of writing. They're all the same anyway. So get used to the x dot dot means um, v dot x. And then um, x dot is a v x. So that's just velocity, horizontal velocity, that's what it means. And that's the um, horizontal acceleration. And um, components for acceleration in the horizontal and vertical directions can be found using Newton's laws of motion. Okay, so let's start. Always start with acceleration. Okay, whether it's horizontal or com vertical, start with x dot dot, y dot dot, or v dot x uh, v dot y okay so we know that its force is equal to the resistance force as well so m x dot dot equals minus k x dot and in terms of the acceleration x dot dot equals minus k over m x dot well that's that was quite straightforward there and I'm just changing this acceleration in terms of um, dt. So it'll be uh, dx dot over dt, or we can use a dvx over dt. So I'm going to use the vx for this one, just to something to different, um, using different things. E equals minus k over m vx, just the same. So I'm just changing the x dot to vx um, yeah vx there okay so and then I swapped this vx with a dt like you can see that I swapped it here why because as you know we have to um, do the integration to get to all the uh, all the horizontal components like acceleration velocity and displacement and to make everything easier for integration and this is the best way um, to form because I'm, I can use ln for this one. That's just like dx of x, which is ln. So when I do that, or when I integrate, I will get ln vx equals minus k over mt plus c. Now you will see all this c everywhere. Uh, they're not the same c but I'm just going to use for convenience. So think of it as like C1, C2, C3, but they're all constant. And obviously the initially t equals zero, but the initial vx horizontal velocity is not zero because it is a projectile motion, it has the angle. So that we're just going to use this, um, the tr trick uh, trigonometry on this one with the, the v equals cos theta for the vx here. So therefore the constant is ln v cos theta. And if I put it all back into this equation, it will be ln vx equals minus k over mt plus ln v cos theta. So now this side is vertical, but just leave that one alone at this stage. And we're just gonna look at the horizontal part. So I'm just moving from there to here quickly and we're going from there to here. Now I'm going to move the ln together like it's a collecting like terms, put it together and then I can sort of make it ln into the fraction because it's a negative and all that. Why? So I want to make a vx the subject and I don't want to leave ln you know, hanging out somewhere. So I'm going to collect them all together. And then to get rid of the ln, I'm going to take E, exponential, it'll cancel out, and I'll get this. So um, don't forget that this side, 
doesn't cancel out, it actually adds on. So that would be e to the power of minus k over mt. And then what happens here, and therefore I can say x dot, which is the vx equals, I just times the v cos theta on both sides, and that's what happens. So that's my expression for x dot, which is the velocity. And then I'm going to continue to integrate so I can get the displacement at the end. So that's easy because that's just a dx dt and I integrate. So x equals. And this time it's not too bad because all you have to do is dif uh, differentiate this part but just to divide it, the power there. So it becomes minus m over k, not k over m, guys, because it's a divided by k over m, which is a flips. And then, of course, the c, the constant. Now, in here, originally, it's a time is 0, x equals 0. So the c will become m over k, v cos theta, because it goes to the other side. If it's going to be, becomes positive. So the whole um, x displacement is like this, but I can, we can tidy up a little bit. We can find the common factor, which is m over k. Ooh, I did make a mistake on there. Uh, here should be m over k. Yep. And then I'll take the m over k v cos theta. I'll left with that's one minus the e to the power of minus k over mt. Okay, so that's what happens. Now, I'm going back to the vertical one now, vertical components. So, um, it would be m y dot dot equals minus m g minus k y dot, and then I divide it by m, okay? Now, I sort of leave this one here. We're not gonna use this one, but later on, sometimes we can use this part. It's easier for, for integration. It depends on, you know, how well we prepare for the integration. So uh, I'm gonna change that to dy dot over t dt equals dvy over dt and equals, I'm taking the minus out and then plus over m. Okay, so that's not too bad. And I'm just swap this dt with the whole thing, okay? Except for leaving the minus on this side. So I'm putting this one where dt is. Okay, so this one, this way is easier to integrate because this is ln again. So all I need is k on the top here, isn't it? So I'm going to take the um, m out and put k in and divide it by k because I just, you know, put that in. So I need to cancel that out to become like, I don't want to change the original equation. And then we are ready to integrate. So I'm focusing on the vertical side of it, this part. So um, integrate this. I will get m over k l n m g plus k v y equals minus t plus c. That's in terms of t, so it's like easy on that one. And of course, the original t equals zero. The vy is a v sine theta, just like that one. Okay, so we're using that. So be careful. And then um, my c will be, that will be zero. So c equals that, that's all. Okay, so we got that. Okay, so I put it back in to t equals because um, it's just easier to tie it up a bit. So what I've done is minus t, I swap with this. So I'll get t equals, and then goes to, this one goes to minus on this side. So when I take that m over k out, this goes on the top, that goes on the bottom, because that will be minus on the other side, okay? Just um, pause this video or watch a couple of more times uh, for the algebra part, if you're not 100% sure on that one. And then what happens now is we need to change this one in terms of, I want to make a V, Y, the subject. So it's going to be a little bit trickier than the horizontal part. So I need to get rid of LN. So I'm going to take the E and therefore 
whole thing will become like this. That's not a problem for us. Now what I'm going to do, I want the VY to be on the top so that it's easier for me to make this subject. So when I do that, the power is flipped so it'll be negative. Okay, can you see that that what goes on the top that becomes negative. And then I'll times this together and leave the mg plus kvy equals that is this one and that's this one. Okay? And I want to take away mg on both sides. That's what I did. And then divided by k on whole thing on the right hand side. And therefore my y dot which is vy is that. Okay? So I put the k in there. I just sort of separated k. So when I do that, this k cancels out when I separate this k. Okay? So that's what I've got here. Now I'm going to integrate to get the y equals displacement. Now what happened here is when I integrate this, remember power we have to divide by. So it goes to minus k over m and so that becomes, it flips, so it becomes minus m over k. Be careful with that and then the whole thing will be exactly the same except for we got plus c. But that's okay, we can work through with um, time equals zero and the y equals zero as well. So when I do that, that's become zero. Uh, t is a zero, so it'd be one. So it doesn't really have to be there. And then that's a zero there because t equals zero. And the c now equals, this goes to the other side, c equals the positive of it. So I'm gonna put it all back into this equation right now with the c at the end there. Okay, and therefore my displacement, vertical displacement is whole thing like this. So what I've done here, I'm taking the m over k and the brackets mg over k plus v sine theta as my common factor. I'm taking this out to the front and that will be my 1 minus whatever it's left. It's here and I'm putting the rest in there. Okay, so that's what happens there. All right, so that was a pretty tough and messy sort of equation, but please watch again and sort of understand how it got there, okay? So equation of a natural trajectory the, in a resistive medium, okay? So this is a, what we're going to do. Before all these uh, vertical components and the horizontal components is in terms of T. Now we are putting into Cartesian equation y equals something x in terms of x. So we've got to use the um, x equals in terms of x, y of t, um, x equals over t, what, that's what I meant, <laughs> y equals uh, something in terms of t, and we're going to use these two equations uh, to make the equation of um, the trajectory. So from part one, and I mean the equation one, I'm going to make the t the subject so that I can uh, substitute into the equation two. Okay, so from here I made this uh, itself and then divided by, uh, well, move that one to the other side. So times by k over mv cos theta on both sides so that um, I'll have simplified that into in terms of whole thing like that. And because I want to t the subject here, so I want this to be by itself, so I move the, what I've done is I swapped, okay? So I swapped this one with this, because I didn't want this to be negative, so I moved that one to there, I moved that to there. So, and then making this one as a subject, and then I'll take ln, so they get rid of the E, and I will get this, and of course, so you times by minus M of K on both sides, and I'll get the T equals something. So I'm gonna call that as my third equation, and what I'm going to do is sub, sub the, um, substitute this part into the second. Woo, that'd be fun. Okay, so 
we will put y equals up to here all that now can you see the t right there so i'll put the t in there and then t right there put that in it's a green color is the t okay so we put it in now here we go this is going to be pretty um a lot <laughs> to take in but step by step it's not too bad so we got that now i just simplify this the t cancels out cancels out becomes ln one minus whatever that and i just um, times the um, constant part and then we'll get this okay so what i've done here the e and ln cancels out here okay so that all i've got is this left like that here so everything's the same okay this part i just times the m over k on each part okay and then i'm just dealing with this so when i do that from the here all i've got is k x over mv cos theta because that will cancel out that's zero and then i'm going to expand this okay so that's expanding this part and that's expanding this part so and then i'll leave this one as it is i'm not touching this so i'm just simplifying this so when i do that i'll cancel a few things out i will get with 10x here because i'll cancel out i've got sine theta over cos theta which is 10x and i can just cancel a few things here and i'll go okay i've got 2x here so i'm taking the um, x out i've got left here and i've got this now that's the um that's what have we got here so therefore this is our equation of trajectory here now this is not a parabola remember we normally had a parabola for our trajectory for when we didn't have any um, air resistance but this time we had air resistance so we sort of expected that it's going to be pretty messy and complicated so in the form of this okay so y equals ax ax uh, plus b ln 1 minus cx okay now here we go time for max height maximum height when the y dot equals zero so the velocity you know the vertical velocity is equal zero so we're going to use the um, expression of y dot the vertical velocity and we're going to make that equal to zero okay so when we do that uh, i'm going to make this in terms of t okay and so i'm going to make the e to the power of minus k over mt on the left hand side and uh, divided by that with this side mm. and this the denominator i'm going to sort of make it into common denominator as my k is my common denominator and i will trying to make it into um, one fraction common fraction there and if I continue from here on I can um, cancel that so I've got left with this yeah and then uh, can you see that there's a minus there there's no minus I just flipped okay and when I flip and then separate this fraction together I'll get one plus this part is there and then I'm going to get rid of the E. So I take LN, I left with this, and I put whole thing into LN. And then I'll times by M over K, and that's what I've got. So that's my time for maximum height. So when the time is that, the I have maximum height. And the next one is uh, speed at any point this is not too bad speed is a, a v this s in here we are going to use as s so that's just so using pythagoras okay so that's not too bad and terminal velocity when it's a, a the acceleration is a zero so we're going to use the um y dot dot the vertical acceleration expression and making it to zero 
and I'm going to make um, the velocity, the y dot, as my subject. And then I'm going to change the vt for terminal velocity. And what I've got is mg over k. All right. Phew, that was the uh, all the proofs. Now we're going to do some questions. Okay. So here we go. Question one. A ball is kicked at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal at 60 meter per second, that's a velocity, and experiences air resistance uh, proportional to the velocity in both the x and y directions. Now, it, it says here, experiences air resistance, so, and proportional to the velocity, so it's, a, it's going to be a linear one, okay? So it's going to be uh, minus um, mkv, okay? Um, in the question, so if there's no mass uh, what's given, you know, no weights given, uh, it sort of means the weight will cancel out in your solution. So we use minus mkv, okay? But in the HSC, the questions will indicate whether you use M or not, okay? Most of the time, sometimes they will use unit mass, which is the one. So it doesn't really matter whether you use or not because it's just one. So just um, read the question. This one doesn't really indicate that very well, but we sort of uh, know that it's going to be MKV because it didn't really indicate the mass there. All right. So there's a three parts that we have to answer. So part A is the equations of the motion, which is the, um, we, when they say equations of motion, it's just a resolving forces, like horizontal components and vertical components. That's all. You know, like X in terms of uh, T, Y in terms of T. And the part B, equation of the path, which is the, um, the equation of the trajectory, which means Y of X. And then uh, expression for the maximum height reached, that means automatically y dot dot equals zero. Okay, so we need to find the um, t and substitute in and we'll, we'll get the, uh, the expression. All right, so let's have a look at the part A. So we want to find the horizontal and vertical components. So I've got it all here. And um, it didn't give us the uh, gravity, so I'm just going to make it as a g equals 10 rather than 9.8 because it's easier to calculate. If the question gives us a um, gravity as 9.8, of course you have to use 9.8. But if they didn't, I will use 10. It's just easier to calculate. Okay, so I just uh, sketched my um, trusty... Um, Right angle triangle there with all the information I've got, uh, 30 degrees and 16 meter per second. And then of course, I'll get the um, Y dot on the, this side, eight, X dot as um, eight root three. So now I'm gonna start the, my horizontal. Uh, I'm gonna use M because I know M will cancel out. And then the usual stuff that what we did for proving it's not that um, different to what we've done. And I'm just going to keep using a x dot. But if you want to, you use a vx. And I again, I move that to swap the x dot with the dt because I want to integrate. And it's all about integration. So you really need to work on uh, make it the best condition for your integration, like smooth con uh, integration. So con continuing from here to here, and I, when I integrate, I'll get the constant here. It's the ln x dot, and I'm just gonna take the um, e. Before I do that, before I take the e, let's have a look at these. Uh, or actually, yes, take e. Sorry. <laughs> so x dot equals e to the power of minus k t plus c. What I meant was before we find the C, we'll take the E and put it in there. Now, this really means, so in our index law, it means E to the power of C times E to the power of minus KT, isn't it? Now, that is constant, E to the power of C, okay? So I'm just going to make it as a capital A, okay? Put it there. 
and then I will use the my condition when t equals zero what was x dot from the triangle it was eight root three so I'm going to substitute that in my a is eight root three so that's my velocity horizontal velocity there and I'm going to integrate that again to get the x okay so I've got to do that and then divide by minus k plus c so and then the initial condition is a t equals zero x equals zero so therefore c equals eight root three over k and I'm going to put all that this c into this equation that's what I'm going to get now you will get an x of t like x in terms of t okay so that's my displacement okay now mostly why do we need this and we we will get the vertical part of it as well for y in terms of t because then you know you can find the equation of the path the equation of a trajectory that's the whole point of finding the equations of motion okay so it's preparing for that all right so now we got that and then we're going to work on the vertical so that's what we got remember we're going to put the m in there m wasn't given so we're going to put m in there and you know m is going to be all cancel out and then uh, i'm just making into minus take all the minus out and put in the g plus k y dot in there and i'm going to swap this um, oh no actually this time when we don't swap we're going to uh, flip so it's going to we're going to make it into t dt equals something okay so uh, that's okay i think it's all you need is a k on the top isn't it because differentiation of g plus k y dot is just k so i just need to k on the top all right so when i do that now this time is a vertical so from here i'll just uh, integrate so when i integrate it'll be just t and i'm just gonna make minus one over k here put k there to make a perfect um, ln integration for ln so when i do that and i forgot to put g equals 10 i'm also going to put it back to the 10 because we decided g gravity is 10 and c so then the initial condition was t equals zero the vertical velocity was eight from that triangle uh, trigonometry so when i do that i'll get c equals that and i'm going to put that back into here and that I will get that. Now we can tighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to take the one over k out, and that would be this on the top divided by that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm because I want the um, y dot as my um, subject. Yeah. So I'm, I need to get rid of um, ln, but first I need to get rid of k. So I'm just timesing by k on both sides. That's what I've got. And then I'll take E, that's what I've got. And then I'm swapping and that becomes negative because I want that Y dot to be my subject. So it needs to be on the top. So when I do that and I'll times by 10 plus 8K on both sides and then uh, take away 10 and then divided by K, that's what I've got. Okay, so that's not too bad. And then I have to integrate again. So that becomes Y. And that's okay all I've got have to do is time divided by minus K on here add the T on there and add the co constant at the end okay and then of course initial condition is all zero lucky for us so and then when I put all that in there I've got C equals 10 plus 8 K over K squared and then what I've got is y equals one over k all of that and then c we put the c in because we just found the c there and let's tighten it up a little bit it times there times there expand that's what i've got and they're both very similar there so i'm going to take that as my common factor when i take that out that'd be one here what i've got left that that's all i've got left and that 
okay so that's my uh, displacement the ver vertical part okay so that's all right so that's our question question was find the equations of motion so we just did that and then we now have to find the path of projectile okay so from a we using all the y x equals in terms of t y equals in terms of t and then from one equation one we're going to make a t the subject so now this one i'll put the star sign there because we will use this as well also we used uh, what about t equals okay so i'll just put that in there to remind myself that i can use this so it's just a straightforward equation right now the algebra so we're going to get t equals 1 minus 1 over k ln 1 minus kx over 8 root 3 and of course i'm going to substitute this number 3 equation into number 2 equation um, so whatever wherever the t is uh, we'll have to put it in but this is i can replace it with this isn't it i don't have to put little um t to the t on here that'll be pretty messy so what i'm going to do is it one minus e to the power of minus kt i'm going to replace that with this okay so that's what i've done so that's pretty handy there and then but t i just have to use this one so i'll put that in there all right so let's um tie this one up a little bit so I'm doing, when I times that, I cancel that out. Uh, I've got that plus the time set that will become plus. So 10 over k square. That's not too bad. And I'm just taking 2 out and then simplify with the 8. It will be 5 plus 4k over 4 root 3kx plus 10 over k square ln. I don't have to tie this one up at all. So let's just leave it like that. So that's what I've got. That's my path of the projectile okay so that's okay now next one part c oops the expression of maximum height when the y dot equals zero so let's have a look at the from a we got that um, y dot yeah when we look for the um, equations of motion we found the um, vertical velocity so i'm going to make that equal to zero so that's a pretty straightforward so why are we getting these before we're finding a height expression height we can't um, go straight into it so we have to find the t first and then use that t to substitute in to y okay so that's what we're going to do so i'm just gonna go straight for it. now just i put some star sign there because i know i have to use this later and so i've got the t equals at the end now this is another sort of a simpler way of writing it so instead of you doing 5 plus 4k over 5 uh, i made it into 1 plus 0.8k okay so that's a i separate this to two fractions and i just made it into simpler form okay so substitute that t into y okay so when i do that so that's okay now can you see this part that's the star sign one so instead of uh, substituting the t into little tiny on the power of t there i'm changing the whole thing into this much much easier and simpler so that's when i got that and um, but t this one here you have to put the original t there so when we do that i'm going to simplify this and oh look we can cancel this cancel it here and that's not too bad so end up with y equals 8 over k minus 10 over k square ln 1 plus 0.8 k okay now this is expression guys because we don't have k value we can't really find the maximum height but the question said just find the expression so that's what we got okay excellent now there's a whole lot of algebra steps in there and there's a few really really good skills that you really need to practice and perhaps memorize and learn it 
and then you can reuse it in the exam. All right, well done.